welcome back to my channel. Today is a very different video for me and I'm in my new room. I'm in a different setup, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing my moving in to college. So first off, I packed up all my stuff and I had quite a bit of stuff. Okay, this is everything so far. I'm not fully packed, but I almost am. Got some appliances. It's mainly packed. Here, I just reduced my books for, I want to say the fourth time at least. Here are books that I just cleared out of it because I needed to take less books. And so I think this is like the smallest I'm going to get my books to and keep the rest at my house, which this is a big step for me. This started out with this entire bag full of books and now I'm down to these two little stacks. So that's an improvement. Then we've got getting ready products. I'm getting my shampoo and conditioner while I'm there. I have a short list of things to get when I'm at school. So I don't have to travel with it because obviously I'm traveling with a lot already and this isn't even all of it these are my hung clothes but the rest of my clothes are upstairs these are all the books i've had to put back i have a couple things i need to put in the car but it's otherwise packed we got a rental car to carry all my stuff in just need to throw in some items that's the table that i painted and i got a lot of other crap that i'll show It is a mess in here and it is completely stuffed. We leave tomorrow morning. I got a little sunburned today, but we leave tomorrow morning with all the crap and we're driving in two days to go to my school. I did take my plants with me. My plan was to take whatever plants I had still alive and I had more than I thought, but they all managed to survive in the move. to drive from Missouri to Maryland with my mom in a rental car with all of my stuff. The reason we got a rental was so we could drive it halfway across the country and leave it there so then my family could fly back and they wouldn't have to drive all the way back because it did take us like 14 hours. So we split up the travel into two days. I went through like five states the first day where I was in five states and we ended up in West Virginia, in Charleston, where we ended up finding some gelato and coffee at a random place, and then we stayed there for the night. Then the next morning, we took our time getting up because we had time to spare. We had the whole day to travel, and we still had two days before my actual move-in. Well, I guess one full day before my move-in. See, the plan was we would travel on Monday and Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, I had to be there for my orientation. And Thursday was my planned move-in. So we made it there on Tuesday afternoon to Baltimore, Maryland. And on Wednesday in the morning, we went to Target to get some things that I did not bring because I had a very full car and I did not need to bring more stuff than I needed. Well, I did bring more stuff than I needed. I am definitely a maximalist. So I went to Target. We took an Uber there and Ubered the stuff back to our hotel to keep there until my move-in. Then that afternoon, we went to campus for orientation and to check in. And that's when I found out that I actually could move in early. And so I did. I moved in a little early and it was late in the day to move in. The move-in closed at two and it was like 1.30 when I had my stuff there. It was like 1.40 maybe when I finally got my stuff there to actually move things in. So I was going fast, taking my stuff in like that 20 minutes with the big load up carts, the, little, the big bins to load up my stuff. We got it all up to my room in three trips because it would really be two, but third one was a big shelf unit. And I originally wasn't even going to bring the shelf unit, but I had the space in the car. It kind of held loose things in the car in the little cubby spaces. And so it ended up being convenient and served as a nice storage in my room. Because there's not a lot of built-in storage in a dorm. You kind of got to make it your own, or at least in my dorm. <laughs> So the 
we started unloading and unpacking my stuff on Wednesday and we finished it up on Thursday. longer and so my room was not complete on Thursday which makes sense. Moving takes time but I didn't have everything that I needed and so I'm still getting stuff in and so I'll have to do a room tour for you guys. Maybe I'll stick it in on the end of this video so then you can really see how my room has turned out. But yeah, I am attending Maryland Institute College of Art aka MICA in Baltimore, Maryland. There are not a lot of YouTube videos showing moving into MICA or just showing off the MICA dorms in general. I am in a newer building called Leak at MICA and so I wanted to show also show off the layout and the whole apartment of this building just as a resource for people as well. Now my room is really nice because, I mean all of them are I think, because it's apartment style which means there is a kitchen and living space and shared bathroom aside from my own room. Now I did single so then I still have my own room but I have two other roommates or sweet mates so it's like living in an apartment with two other people with my own room. So it's a really nice living situation and yeah I raised up my bed so that I would have more room underneath. I took my dresser underneath and now I have a little seating area under my bed as well and that really frees up some space on my floor so I have more space to work. Also my room did not come with a desk so I had to get my own desk. Now the desk that I got and built from Amazon turned out to be really flimsy so I actually had to move it. You can see it's right over here and use it as a dressing table and now I have a new desk from Target and it's just the most basic desk you can get. So that was my move in. I don't know how much content I'll actually do around being at school, but I thought I'd make this video for the purpose of people who are going to go to the school and also just to update you guys and what's going on in my life. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I'll probably just get back to journaling videos. So thank you so much for watching this if you got this far and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.